show you two of the treats that we are making this year for the 4th of July. And the first one that we're going to start with are these really fun strawberry shortcake with blueberry kebabs. And this is what you're going to need to put your kebabs together. Blueberries, strawberries, and I just cut the ends of the strawberries off. You're also going to need angel food cake, and I have just cut these into cubes. You can also cut these into stars if you have a little star cookie yeah. cutter. We can find ours, but I think that that would be really, really yeah. cute. Instead of wooden skewers that have the pointy ends, we are going to be using long lollipop sticks. These work great, and then you don't have to worry about your kids or yourself poking with the pointy little end. These are just a little bit safer, and they work great. Okay, so there's no right or wrong way to put these together. You can do it however you would like, so we're just going to start putting them together. Here's sticks for everyone. You want to make a lot if you're going to take these to a party because I think that they'll go fast. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so how are you going to start yours? I'm going to go blueberry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think I'm going to do mine white, red, white, red, and then blueberries on the top, kind of like the flag. I'm making mine to a firework. I'm making mine to a firework. Oh, well, that's fun. Good job, guys. Since this is a pointy, sometimes you have to kind of like work them on, but it is really easy. There's mine. Right, I'm gonna grab a plate. And then just go ahead and put them on the plate. There they are. Cute. You guys are creative. Okay, so now that you've done this style, try to like switch it up so we have a bunch of different, different designs. We have a plate full of strawberry shortcake with blueberry kebabs ready to go. Something else that you could do that I thought would be really yummy is to serve it with a side of Cool Whip. You can dip these in there. Or you could even drizzle the strawberry sauce on them or some chocolate. Yeah. You could do anything. But these are also perfect on their own because they're refreshing and delicious and yummy. So there are our kebabs. You guys ready to make the next treat? Yes. Okay. And then just some extra sprinkles. The next treat we are going to make are Rice crispy Firecrackers, which are going to be a lot of fun because we get to decorate them. Okay. So what are we going to need for this? We are going to need Rice Krispies, marshmallows when you grab the bitties, and a stick of butter. And then we are just going to follow the recipe on the back to make Rice crispy treats. What else? Sprinkles. Sprinkles! We love sprinkles! And we found some red, white, and blue ones right there. We got clear ones. Clear. What else do we have in this one? Um, stars. Stars. Yeah. And just red and blue. We wanted to make sure we had enough sprinkles for everyone to share. It's the most important part. It is, <laughs> because it's the most fun. <laughs> You're also going to need some melted chocolate. And we wanted to do red, white, and blue. So we have some white chocolate and some red chocolate. And I love these melt aways from Michael's. They just melt down much easier. You don't have to add anything to them. They're just really easy. If you don't have red or blue, you can always use some food coloring, which is what we're going to do, is add some blue to one of the white, so that we have red white, and blue chocolate. We're just going to melt those down and add the blue food coloring to some of the whites. We're also going to be using these fun straws for the sticks for our Rice Krispie treats. I thought they were fun just to find some red, white, and blue. These were really cheap. I just found them at Walmart. There are stripes and polka dots. Super, super cute. I'm going to head over to the stove and make our Rice Krispie treat, and then we will be right back.
are ready to go and the kids are ready to decorate. These are really, really cute. They just look like a little firework. See with a little fuse. Thank you. Just dip them into the chocolate and then we'll sprinkle some fun things on them. So I have a piece of wax paper here. And we'll just start decorating. Are you guys ready? Okay. Alright. Yeah, so you can just dip them right in. I think I'm gonna do white first. Just dip it in there. You can use this spoon if you want it a little bit higher. Up on the rice crispy. And we use these red, white, and blue sprinkles. What are you guys doing over there? I'm doing stripes. Oh, you are? I don't <laughs> You can also do stripes with like the different sprinkles. So if you just want to cover the whole oh, yeah. thing, and then you could do sprinkles. Yeah, you can. And that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, perfect. It's kind of like, you know, you're lighting it, but this is kind of like the part where you stick it in the ground. Oh so yeah, like kind of. Yep. Either way is good. You can make this whatever you want it to be. It kind of looks like a popsicle. It does kind of look like a popsicle. So let's kind of have a strips of milk. <laughs> you guys are always so creative. I love seeing what you do. I'm just being kind of boring and leaving the chocolate on the bottom because I only like a little bit of chocolate on my Rice Krispie treats. <laughs> I love. July treats this year. We had so much fun making these. Did you guys like these? Yes. And they were a lot of fun to make. I think these are perfect to take to any party or to eat in your backyard or to take to watch fireworks because the great thing about these is that they are not messy so you can take them anywhere. If you recreate these we would love to see pictures on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that you have a happy and safe 4th of July. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.